Alright guys, today is the day. I've, I've been up since 7am and I am really tired. Last night I ate a massive steak preparation for today and honestly I've never been that nervous so far for this trip for racing this car. Until this morning I woke up, I had like an extra hour in bed. I was like, you know, I can't sleep. I actually feel really, really nervous for this. So I'm going to be getting changed in my gear. And the first thing we're doing today is racing the Formula E car. Now there will be like a bigger, better, more awesome video over on my main channel for this. So I'll link that to that as well. And hopefully this video will go out at the same time. But hopefully you've enjoyed a few behind the scenes videos here on more Alley A. It's been a lot of fun vlogging this trip uh, and building up to this moment. Here she is, the beast that I am going to be driving. Welcome. First time in her yesterday. I'm going to be driving her today. Just look at it, like, I'm driving this thing. What is life? I'm nervous, I'm nervous. It's going to be crazy. I just realised I've never shown you the actual kit I've got to wear for this race, and it's been in this massive suitcase in, like, my room for ages. This is how much stuff I've got to wear in boiling temperatures in that car in Argentina. So this is a suitcase with everything in it. I had to get all my specs and sizes sent over to them before going on this trip got ourselves the helmet, the gloves, the, oh yo, is these socks? Matt, maybe I have to wear those as well, socks, we've got underwear, we've got overwear, <laughs> trousers, top, head thing, basically, you, you, if you've ever gone go-karting, you've obviously wear one of these, and the actual suit itself, and then look at these bad boy shoes, to get as much feeling on the pedals as possible, and i got to wear all of this stuff, so, time to get changed. Alright guys, we're like 50% of the way to getting changed, look how much stuff I'm wearing already, obviously all this is like fireproof stuff, so if anything does go wrong, please cough and shoot, then I'm protected. Still gonna put on my helmet, my gloves, my main top, and my shoes, but we're getting there, alright? This is how we're looking right now, you know what I mean? Getting ready to get in the car. I'm actually a ninja. This is what I look like all dressed up. I'm gonna steal the car, no one's gonna see me again, but we're almost there, almost fully geared up. Just gonna put the helmet on, jump in the car, and the next thing will be racing. How you feeling, buddy? Feeling good. I just want to get onto the track, and once I'm on the track, I feel more comfortable. I'm just worried about going off and coming back in and not hitting anything. <laughs> Go on, buddy. Yes, mate. Guys, there we go. I've experienced the Formula E car. The main video showing the footage and all the GoPro stuff will be over on my main channel. But you guys had a behind the scenes of the lead up and the build up to everything that has just happened. So much fun, so much better than I thought it'd be. I was definitely nervous after yesterday, but going on track and experiencing the, the power of this car and how quick it was is absolutely amazing. Wish I could do it again, but it's been an amazing opportunity. You guys have come along with me and hope you've enjoyed it. Which is so, so amazing. Was, the actual driving experience is a lot more than what I thought it would be like. As I said, being on the sim like, and getting thrown everywhere, I was like, I'm not ready for this. But as soon as I was in the car, I remembered exactly the lines I wanted to take, sort of where I could go a little bit quicker. Obviously, there were bits I could have gone quicker, but hey, I only got two laps. The main thing was, that, as I said, when I came out the pits, it was a really long straight, and I just came over past two like little corners, put it into fifth, just floored it for the whole thing. I was like, Woo! So it was absolutely amazing and uh, it's been an amazing experience to drive in something like this. It's unbelievable. I think like only like 50 people in the whole world have ever had a chance to do that. So I'm blessed. It's been amazing and best experience ever. Now we're going to get you in the shower because you're going to yeah, be Yeah, now I need to get these clothes off. You're going to be so sweaty, out. mate. Like, I'm dripping. I probably lost half a stone just being in there wearing these clothes. <laughs> what a workout. <laughs> Alright guys, it has been done. The racing in this bad boy is complete. One thing I wanted to make sure that I didn't do was come out of the racing and feel like I didn't push it as much as I, want, as I wanted to. So I made sure on the straights I tried to go as quick as I could and I made sure on the corners that I just broke as much as I could before going into it, eased myself around 
and just tried to fill out the car and the, and the course as much as I could within only the two laps that I had. So it's been an absolutely amazing experience, absolutely loved it. And I can't wait, obviously, to see the full video, which will be up on my main channel, of just seeing myself going around the track and hopefully I look like I'm actually going quite quick. So it's been amazing, once in a lifetime opportunity, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching it as well. All right, so we're back. We're gonna be going back in the IA, which is now on the track. Last time, I got to have some sort of like training laps before actually going in the Formula E car. Now we're back in action to be going on the track in the IA with Bruno, and he's gonna be taking me on like a fast lap. He's gonna try and scare me. I'm gonna see if he can. I don't know. I've done a lot of track days, but I think he's definitely gonna be rapid. It's gonna be more about how quick he takes corners. We're gonna get thrown around as a roll cage in there, but it should be awesome. So in qualifying, one of the Formula E cars actually crashed. Look at this, they, they, they've only got two cars. So I'm not even sure what they're gonna do, but this is what happens when things go wrong. Not good. All right, so we've been put into a celebrity race where we're gonna be driving like these tiny, almost like golf buggy-like cars around the actual track. The people in this race are like, I don't know, super VIPs. Now I'm just getting thrown in there. These things aren't very quick, so I'm just gonna try and overtake and try and be as rapid as I can. Obviously nothing compared to the Formula E cars, but it should be hilarious. All right, we're on the track. Everyone's lined up. I'm number number 10, so I'm sort of starting from like the middle. Uh, as I said, these things aren't very quick, so I'm just gonna try and work my way through the pack. If we finish number one, it'll be sick. We're back here on the pits. All the pits are actually shut down at the moment. Normally, Formula E are very good for letting people come in and just look around and chat to the, not really chat to the races, but like have a look at everything that goes on behind the scenes in uh, all of the pits. Now, it's actually a closed off time right now, but we're gonna grab some of the races and have a few chats with them before uh, the race kicks off. They've all done their qualifying laps. All of the positions are done. Now it's just down to the final race, baby. The cameramen literally roll around on a Segway while they're filming. Those things are awesome. I want one of those with a big Segways for the flat. We are literally on the track right now where all the cars are lining up. They're in their position. So we're going to chat some of the races that I've seen throughout this weekend. Sam, Daniel, Bruno, catch up with all of them. You can see here of the races behind me. Pretty exclusive access. Pretty damn sick. Like this is like, oh god, is this your car coming towards me? Run over on the track. <laughs> tend to watch the Formula E race. Obviously I'm going to go out, I've been on the track at the beginning, we're going to go out into the pits during the race as well, the Audi pits. So sick, the guys are popping off, they're rapid. This is my first ever Formula E race and it is awesome. So we're currently in the Audi Ab garage, past half point of the race, which means that the car you see behind me was literally being used for the first half of the race. So essentially races around about 50 minutes each, with each car lasting for about 25 minutes of the uh, electric power that's in the car. So they have to jump out of that car, jump into their new one. So currently, we're in the second half of the race. We're going into the, the pits here during the race to get a little bit of an insight of what goes on with everything when a race is actually happening. So the race is now over, and British racer Sam Bird, who did some filming with, not only on Forza, but also on the simulator, yesterday has not only started in, in first, but kept that consistency throughout the whole race and has finished first. And on top of that, not only is he on the podium, I'm gonna be joining him on the podium. So we've been given this little badge here and this badge will give us access to the podium, which is just over there. So I'm actually gonna be going on the podium with the winner, Sam, and the rest of the guys that came second and third, mad. Ladies and 
gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed. That is the final Formula E vlog. I finished all the footage there with the podium ceremony. At the end of that, we ended up finishing our final night with a massive, massive party, like a Chinese club. I didn't end up filming any of that. But that was when I was ill on the flight back home. It wasn't the greatest thing in the world. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed all the vlogs. The main video of me racing the Formula E will be over on my main channel, so go and check that out. It was a crazy, crazy once for a lifetime experience in Argentina. And I'm hoping to potentially go to another Formula E event in London, literally just to catch up with everybody and to check out another Formula E race. So thank you for watching all of it, guys. You're amazing. More vlogs right here from the flat, with my car, with the cat, with all of that good stuff very soon as well. And I'll see you guys soon.